Let's talk about mold dogs. It's it's getting more popular. I love the idea. My one of our girls wants a dog so bad, and she's been working for weeks, dare I say months, on Amy and I trying to get us wore down to get her a dog. And I I'm kind of the biggest stickler. I'm saying no. And then so last night I was in here working, and she keeps saying she wants a dog, and I said, hey, make it a mold dog, and I'll get a dog. And I shouldn't have said that because she went right online and found a mold dog for sale in Ohio where it's a canine training place and they're selling this mold dog. And honestly, if we lived in a bigger city, I would consider it because um, it's it's a great tool. And we have uh, bomb sniffing dogs. We have drug sniffing dogs. We have, oh, I've heard some other weird sniffing dogs, but we now we have mold sniffing dogs. And it's one more tool we have to help find problems. You know, you can figure out how this works. They come in your house, you take them around, they sniff, they look in each room trying to locate the fungus. And when they do, they alert their handler to there being a problem. And you know where that problem is and, and then you dig into that a little more to see if there actually is a problem there later. I love the idea of mold dogs. Um, I've, I collect a lot of people's feedback. I've heard very good things and I've heard people that said, they probably wouldn't do it again based on their experience. But I've heard a lot of good feedback where um, they were, were able to locate some issues. And it's especially important when you've already had an inspector in, an inspection company in, and they can't find the issue. But you're mold sick. You know it's there somewhere. And like I've explained in so many videos, it's so hard to find hidden mold because there's not always a water leak feeding it. So this is just one more angle to come at it to try to find uh, sources so that you can get them remediated. Okay, now deal with the big issue. Matt, you're so mean. You're so awful. Why would you force a dog to sniff mold? Okay, well, let's think about all the uh, dogs that are living in moldy homes 24-7. This dog is uh, taken care of 100%. It comes into a house and spends an hour, whatever its, its time is, sniffing around looking for a problem. Remember, people have been living in here that li very likely have pets for years, potentially decades. This dog's coming in from a clean area just for a very small snippet of time. Okay, it's not like we're in a lab and we're getting a whole bunch of stachybotrys mycotoxins in an air chamber then throwing the dog in with it for a week to see what happens. No, 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 no. This is where people live, kids live, pets live. And this dog comes in for a very short snippet of time just to help find that. So they're doing us a great service. Um, yes, you can absolutely put dogs on humic and fulvic acid as a binder. If you're, if you're worried, I mean, I would anyway, just because it helps bind the toxins that come from their injections and food and air and water and everything too. But you can do this. You can sprinkle it in their water on their food. Uh, but these dogs are probably healthier than their handlers. So uh, mold dogs, great resource. One more angle to help find things, but it's a pain getting them sometimes, depending where you live. And sometimes you got to find a couple more people around you to make it worth the trip. So I uh, love mold dogs, appreciate what they do. And uh, if, you, if you get in a position where your inspectors can't find it, it could be a tool that could help you find the source that's keeping your family sick. Do you have questions about mold in your home or body? Book a consultation with Matt, aka The Mold Man, to guide your home and body to the next level of healing. 